A lot of coin for this place. That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed. And all I had to do was turn my head. Hmm. To all my friends. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're going to show this city what to do with heathen oxmen. Well, uh, I want to meet your boss, if that's possible. Someone has deep pockets. I want an introduction. Somebody always wants something. But I don't have to take that anymore. Three horn heads are just a start. You want some of this? Take it from me and my new friends. You're on your own, pal. That's loyalty for you. Come on. Um... Sure. Feeling a little friendlier. What? What do you want? I just did what he said. It was more coin than I've ever seen. Well, they are on a roll so far. Come on. Someone's so generous. They deserve recognition. Templar. It was a Templar. I didn't get the name. We met near the Chantry. He, he said taking these Kunari was serving the Maker. I swear, he even had the seal of the Grand Cleric. True is true. Hmm. Great. A Templar. With the Grand Cleric seal. How's that for interesting? Hmm. It is very interesting indeed. You have got to hear this, Hawk. Oh? There's this tale making the rounds. They're saying you single-handedly fought off a pirate invasion at midnight on the sacred ground of the Chantry. Oh, is that all? Don't the stories mention my stunning good looks? What about my cunning wit? Nope, they skip straight to the part about the lovable dwarf with the gorgeous crossbow and the heart of gold. Mm. I try to steer them straight, but you know how stories go. Just don't be surprised if people seem in awe. Why tell stories, Varric? What compels you to spin these ridiculous tales? I love the sound of my own voice. And I'm a compulsive liar. Honestly, I don't know. It's just something I do. There's power in stories, though. That's all history is. The best tales, the ones that last. Might as well be mine. And what do you get out of this, exactly? I find it hard to believe you're spreading these stories without getting something in return. Well, that just shows what you know, Hawk. The stories are their own reward. You really uh -huh. need to see the look on someone's face when I tell them you ripped the arms off an ogre. <laughs> just once. And that's the other thing. Why am I always the hero? Wouldn't it make more sense for you to be the main character in these tall tales of yours? There's a recipe to a good hero, Hawk. It's like alchemy. One part down to earth, one part selfless nobility, two parts crazy, and you season liberally with wild falsehoods. You let that percolate through a good audience for a while, and when it's done, you've got your hero. Well, you're too kind, Varric. I guess all works. A little reverence wouldn't hurt, though. You're beautiful, deadly, and hang out with fantastic dwarves. It would be a crime if people didn't talk about you. Anyway, I'll quit exaggerating before it goes to your head. Please do. So, a drunk says the Grand Cleric funded zealots through a rogue Templar. This is enough evidence for you. Um... Don't forget the kidnapped Canari. That too. Hey, it's not like the Templars are going to like me no matter what I do. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her... Three Canari leave an estate. And let her finish. Sarah Hawk. Sister Patrice. Mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. 
Hmm. I Grand see. Grand Eric Alfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? Um. You set me up years ago. I know you. And I know someone is abusing the Grand Cleric's seal. Who are you to question who serves her grace? I am sorry, but I see no reason to let you pass. How about the fact that her authority was used to abduct Kunari? A pause that says you knew. But does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. Hmm. You're a naughty girl, aren't you? It sounds like you've been bad. This will shock her grace, no doubt. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. Yes? The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And his relation to you is? He is my former bodyguard, Ser Von El. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet right. me at this location. I invite you, Sarah Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. I invite you, Sarah Hawk, to walk into a trap. It's her game, for the moment. Like any beast, remove the fangs and it is lost. They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious cune is death before the righteous. Sevonel! Take a knee, faithful. The Chantry blesses us. You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember, Sarah Hawk? Uh. The Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? Um... You die? You want to fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Templars are cowards. They only pick on those whose lives they already hold in their hands. Righteous! Destroy them! Oh. Well, that wasn't very nice of you. How nah, was it? Bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. Madness! Madness! That's a word for it. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements. Oh, it could not be worse. 
Sure it could. You could suddenly realize you're completely naked or something. <laughs> You killed them? All of them? Well, I don't think all of them. A mother serving the Grand Cleric allowed this to happen. Are you quite sure? She held a blade with them? No. Told them to fight you? No. No, I cannot say that. No, of course not. Blasted mother. You have no idea the storm these allegations would cause. It would destroy what support I do have. She will, low lo she will lay low for a while, I'm sure of it. But this, I doubt it will go away. I have had trouble with her before. She is... slippery. I understand. I will make my inquiries. Gently. And you should be careful in your associations. For now, we have other problems. We have the delegate, but... I can't return the bodies to the Canari in this state. Sarah Hawk. You know the Arishok. What should I do? Well, he seems to respect honesty. So... Give him the bodies as is. Because, well, he might know regardless. Hiding this would only make it worse. It would, wouldn't it? I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. I appreciate your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Kirkwall owes you. I owe you. Seamus, wasn't it? The Viscount's boy? You're here rather often, Sir Arhawk. A good influence, I think. Even by not taking sides, you helped start something. I still accept no blame for defending Kunari. And I don't miss the kinship of the people who oppose what I believe. Well... It's not like I like the Kunari, but... It's not like I hate them, either. The Arashok asked for me. I think they're a headache, but so are many people. Then you've already treated them with more grace than most. Mere existence should not be an offense, no matter how they challenge the Chantry. Not when some of their ideas are so... compelling. Another time. When things are better. Hmm. Here's to that. And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. Oh? oh and, uh, what's his name? That mage. Seems uh, to be getting pretty close. So, what's going on, Hawk? You're not jealous, are you, Varric? Well, well, well. I never thought you were the type, Varric. I'm flattered. It's the chest hair, isn't it? Women can never resist my chest hair. Unfortunately, it's not to be. I'm spoken for. Uh, Bianca stands in my way again, does she? What can I say? She's the jealous type. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Maybe, just maybe, getting involved with the possessed mage might be dangerous. There, I've said my piece. Alright, but my life is full of danger. This sounds perfect for me. In all the time you've known me, have I ever given you the impression that I was turned off by crazy? <laughs> okay, point taken. Alright, Varric. Why do you always win at cards? <laughs> because I cheat, kitten. <laughs> this trinket, it's Elven, isn't it? From your clan. Don't bet anything you're not prepared to lose. Here, have it back. A 
A jigger of your finest whiskey for my friend over here. The hanged man's finest isn't much, but it'll get you just as drunk as anything you'll find in Hightown. That's not all that it will get you. And you'll wake up and find someone stolen your trousers. <laughs> That's when you know it's a party. I thought Indeed. I'd have to watch myself around you, but as it oh. turns out, you're all right. Just all right. That's mildly insulting, you know. You know what I mean. You don't judge people. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, little things like that. If sure. I had someone like you on board my ship when the storm hit, maybe we wouldn't have been shipwrecked. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm not a miracle worker. Maybe you would have been shipwrecked sooner. I'm a terrible sailor. Are you? I suppose I'll have to keel haul you till you shape up. No, I don't even know what that means. Help me, please! He's gone mad! Oh. You're not... You're not him. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. Is that so? So the wild-eyed hysteria is just for show, then? You don't understand. Someone is after her. I had to keep her safe. I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... just let me explain. Go on, then. All right. We'll see if you can talk yourself out of this. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alessa was going to be next. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. Hmm. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. Let go of me! <laughs> She'll go straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. Hmm. So you're a blood mage. I could report you to the Templars for blood magic. Yes, I've used blood magic and lyrium to augment my powers. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to. He took my sister from me. And you are afraid of the guards. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Why? I don't want him arrested. This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Besides, they probably wouldn't even hear me out. Hmm. And what about Emmerich? He suspected you. Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Of course he was. But I was trying to find the killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. Well, can you blame him? You really did make yourself a target, though. Kidnapping people and all. I suppose that's fair. <sighs> Tell me about the killer. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. Alright, well... You didn't put up, put up a fight as soon as we entered. You didn't sound that crazy. And you seem honest. So you can go. Time for you to vanish. Every man for himself. I'm headed to Darktown. If you learn anything new about the killer, find me there. I have a score to settle with him. Aren't you Hawk? Oh. Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. Really? Did I tell him that? I must have completely forgotten. Don't you remember sending this message? Um. I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding. Right. Oh. Oh dear, Emmerich. Too easy. 
Yeah. sent that thing here to kill him why would anyone oh maker the murders emmerich was right he was getting too close he suspected a man named gascard dupuis did he do this uh probably not gascard was only a small piece of the puzzle i think he's innocent <sighs> we should have believed emmerich I thought he was just trying for one last shot at glory. Whoever did this is a dangerous apostate that Meredith will want found. I will see to it personally. Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me. Uh, hunters. Stop right there! You are in possession of stolen property! Back away from the slave now and you'll be spared! He is not a slave. Not anymore. Fenris is a free man. I won't repeat myself. Back away from the slave now. I am not your slave. Should have listened when you had the chance, my friend. Oh. Uh, hold on. There we go. Oh. Oi. Over here. Where is he? Please don't kill me. Tell me. I don't know. I don't know, I swear. Adriana brought us. She's at the holding caves north of the city. I can show you the way. No need. I know which ones you speak of. Then let me go. I beg you. I swear You chose I the wrong master. <laughs> Adriana. I was a fool to think I was free. They'll never let me be. Um, who's Hadriana? This is someone you know. My old master's apprentice. I remember her well. A sniveling social climber that would sell her own children if she thought it would please Daenerys. If she's hmm. here, it's at his bidding. I knew he wouldn't let this go. Well, we can always try to go after them. Then why are we standing around? The holding caves held slaves in the old times, but apparently they are no longer abandoned. We must go quickly, before Hadriana has a chance to prepare, or flee. Loot the bodies! Alright. We must be careful. There were many such holdings once, especially in the mountains where individual slavers kept private pens. They were designed to protect against raids by fellow slavers. No doubt it's why Hadriana chose this place. What do you mean raids by fellow slavers? Do slavers attack each other often? They did. What better way to find slaves than to steal them? The holdings mm. outside of Tevinter have mostly been abandoned, but they still exist. Well, sounds lovely, Fenris. Maybe she wanted to redecorate. Add a few flowers. She's not a flowers kind of woman. Let's hope this isn't a waste of time. Indeed. Um. See for yourself. The legacy of the Magisters. Blood magic. 
In a society where mages rule, they find many ways to justify their need for power. Oh. What's going on here? Are you hurt? Did they touch you? They've been killing everyone. They cut Papa, bled him. Why? Why would they do this? It's a demon at work. By this point, there's nothing human left inside. The Magister. She said she needed power, that someone was coming to kill her. We tried to be good. We did everything we were told. She loved Papa's soup. I don't understand. Where is Hadriana? Is the Magister still here? I think so. The Magister said they were to prepare for battle. I think she's very frightened. She has every reason to be. Please don't hurt her. She'll be so angry if you hurt her. Um... They don't care about you. You know that, right? You're just a slave to them. Property to be used. Everything was fine until today. It wasn't. You just didn't know any better. Are you my master now? No. But I can cook. I can clean. What else will I do? Uh, just... Take this coin and, and go. Consider this my donation to the cause. For me? Thank you. I... I'll treasure it forever. She'll probably be robbed before the day is through. Let's find Hadriana and be done with this place. All right. Come on, then. Show us what you can do. See what all those blood sacrifices accounted for. Ah! Horrible witch! Stop! You do not want me dead! There is only one person I want dead more. I have information, Elf. And I will trade it in return for my life. <laughs> the location of Daenerys. What good will that do me? I'd rather he lose his pet pupil. You have a sister. She is alive. You wish to reclaim your life? Let me go, and I will tell you where she is. You could be lying. How do we know you're even telling the truth? You don't. But I know Fenris, and I know what he's searching for. If he wants me to betray Daenerys, he'll have to pay for it. Well, it's up to you, Fenris. This is your call. So I have your word. I tell you, and you let me go. Yes, you have my word. Her name is Varenia. She is in Carinus, serving a magister by the name of Araman. A servant, not a slave. She's not a slave. I believe you. <gasps> we are done here. You alright? Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. Oh. This could be a trap. Daenerys could have sent Hadriana here to tell me about this sister. Even if he didn't, 
trying to find her would still be suicide. Denarius has to know about her and has to know that Hadriana knows. But all that matters is I finally got to crush this bitch's heart. May she rot, and all the other mages with her. And here I thought you were unreasonable. We can still find her, you know. This doesn't mean we shouldn't look for your sister. And who's going to look for her? You? Even if I've found my sister, who knows what the Magisters have done to her? What has magic touched that it doesn't spoil? I... need to go. I've been thinking about what happened with Hadriana. You and I don't always see eye to eye, but that doesn't mean you deserved my anger. I owe you an apology. Well, don't worry about it. It's why I'm here. People take their frustrations out on me all the time. You are generous. When I was still a slave, Adriana was a torment. She would ridicule me, deny my meals, pound my sleep. Because of her status, I was powerless to respond, and she knew it. The thought of her slipping out of my grasp now. I couldn't let her go. I wanted to, but I couldn't. Well, what about your sister? You clearly weren't thinking about finding your family when you did it. And what would you have me do? Hadriana came after me. I have never had the option to simply walk away. Am I supposed to forgive, no matter how many times they hunt me down? Am I supposed to forget all the things they've done to me? I don't know. It does sound like a plan. They say Amnesia is a friend to the Tormented. A friend? I don't have any friends. It's a sickness, this hate. This dark growth inside me that I can't ever get rid of. And they put it there. Ugh. This isn't why I came here. I'm just trying to help you, Fenris. Stop being so bloody stubborn. Easier said than done. Hmm.